Hello, uh, my name is Mark Boyer and uh, this is another video and I intend on putting out more videos in more in, in rapid succession on the grounds that uh, I'm making a push. It's got to be done. And uh, this video is going to try to be a little happier, uh, better message than the last one. And the easiest way to do that is to outline that all this turmoil, all of this ends with the delivery of the New Covenant. The New Covenant is as... it's a mystery, okay? It's as outlined in 1 Corinthians 2. It's something that no eyes have ever seen, what no ears have heard, and what no human mind has ever conceived. Now the reality is, is I'm the only man in the world who has ever said anything about the fact that the new covenant is to uphold God's creation. It really is the change of everything. And it says here, it's that it's what no mind has ever conceived. Now, I'm the first to admit that I've thought of it, and I really am the only one. But there's a big difference with, it doesn't say that no mind has ever thought. But it seems apparent that I really am the only one who has thought this idea. But conceive it? Well, it seems to indicate there that uh, chances are I'm dead for it to happen. Now, the reality is, is I don't have the slightest problem with that. As far as, far as 1 Corinthians 15, I really am the one like Adam, the one who will bring the dead to life through human means, which is my act of supremacy challenge of 1559. And if authority doesn't grab onto it, then they miss a golden opportunity to all go to heaven. And that's all there is to it. And because we are entering paradise on earth, whether these despots in charge want to go or not. And that's the only thing that's stopping it, is my Lord's grace that they will repent in the end. But freedom of choice was given for exactly this day. Now the reality is, is I have all the attributes of being the advocate. Okay, When I approached the Crown last December, the Crown Prosecutor, last December, they made it clear that they were worshipping Shatan. They were prepared to die for Satan. And get it over with, please. Okay? That's really their mindset. I've been saying this for two years, and I had it confirmed by Joanne McDonald, a granddaughter of John A. McDonald, who was a cohort of Albert Pike, a Order of the Scottish Rite Freemason Orange Lodge in Ontario. Okay? Anyone believes that Jesus Christ delivered the New Covenant 2,000 years ago merely has to look at the definition of what the New Covenant will do in uh, Jeremiah 31 31. And uh, it's self evident Jesus Christ did not deliver the New Covenant 2,000 years ago. He delivered a change of mindset, yes, but he definitely delivered the promise of the New Covenant. Okay. Gave out a book called the Bible that outlines all kinds of clues of what the New Covenant must do. And it's been called by the secular society the Grand Awakening. Okay, The reality is, is I'm the only one in the world who has ever spoken the fact that upholding God's creation is the new covenant between man and God. It's when God dwells among us. It really is the mindset of the ancients. And I really am the only one in the world who seems to be talking about it. It is the change of everything. Our mindset changes and the world around you will be as outlined in Romans 8 
which it says all past suffering will seem insignificant compared to the glory that's about to be revealed. Now, why authority think we have to be dragged through hell to get there? Is their insistence that Jesus Christ died for nothing. And that's as simple as that. Okay? In John's Gospel, it says that the advocate, okay, will come and Jesus will have no hold on. And he will explain everything of, everything about Jesus and change everything. Well, nobody wants to listen to my interpretation of biblical events. And uh, what can I say? What I'm talking about will change everything. And as it says in the Bible, this is not about talk. It's about power. Okay? That has not occurred. That new covenant with God has not occurred. Look around you. We live in a world consumed in hate. We live in a world where evil people for thousands of years have been directing us into the pit that we now are in and in their perception they are in a powerful delusion sent by god for delighting in wickedness which is slavery and the result of following the plans of albert pike who back in the 1870s wrote the Scottish the, the Scottish or the Scottish the, the Order of the Scottish Rite in Freemasonry uh, which is this doctrine uh, that is pure evil I mean just pure evil there's no way around it okay he outlined the next three world wars he outlined the rise of the third and fourth generation of despots and we are ruled by despots throughout the world. They are doing everything they can to seed a revolution. When the Bible says very clearly it's a rebellion. A rebellion is, is by those within, not by the people. It says in Romans that he will have mercy on us all. He has condemned us all to sin so that he can have mercy on us all. And that's when someone places their faith in the message given by Jesus Christ. And that, that, that's portrayed by a messenger. I clearly have all the attributes of being the advocate. There is not one clue of John's Gospel on the advocate that I haven't fulfilled. There is not one clue of Matthew Mark, Luke, or John that I haven't fulfilled. I easily have fulfilled in excess of 200 pages of the Bible. And exactly as the Bible, I'm the best kept secret the press has ever been able to, to, to do. Well, bottom line is the press is owned, controlled by Masons. Okay? The only news you get from the left, right, or middle is approved by the Masons in order to give pressure from above and pressure from below. It's all part of the Masonic training of how we get to be the worst. And uh, they're doing a great job, okay? The reality is, is I can't imagine how they won't rebel. And if authority doesn't grab onto it, then they miss a golden opportunity to all go to heaven. And that's all there is to it. And because we are entering paradise on earth, whether these despots in charge want to go or not. And that's the only thing that's stopping it is my Lord's grace that they will repent in the end. But freedom of choice was given for exactly this day. Now the reality is, is I have all the attributes of being the advocate, okay? When I approached the Crown last December, the Crown Prosecutor, last December, they made it clear that they were worshipping Shatan. They were prepared to die for Shatan. 
and get it over with, please. Okay? That's really their mindset. I've been saying this for two years, and I had it confirmed by Joanne McDonald, a granddaughter of John A. McDonald, who was a cohort of Albert Pike, a Order of the Scottish Rite Freemason Orange Lodge in Ontario. You know, Tilsonburg to be specific. You know, since Canada has never had a bureaucracy that wasn't Masonic. Never. Never in our existence. Okay? Top to bottom, up and down, we have been ruled for our entire existence by despots. Period. End of story. People with a mission to fulfill Romans. Our Constitution was written by, you know, uh, a guy called uh, John Locke. And he also wrote the American Constitution. And he wrote it in order to fulfill Romans. And Romans is being fulfilled. And exactly as to, hit, uh, to the story, they're so lost to dark forces that uh, the chances of them, of there not being a, a harvest of bad weeds is, uh, I find impossible to, to, to believe. You know, mind you, all it takes is someone to place their faith in the message. And no one will ever put them to shame. So says the Bible. Now, if I can't find that, and they start a World War III scenario, as to 2 Thessalonians 2, the chances are I'll be taken out of the way just for good luck. Now the reality is that the Bible in, Mar in Mark's Gospel makes it very clear that everything in the Bible must be fulfilled. Okay. Now my name's Mark and I'm delivering everything, which is the other everything. And I will deliver it to my Lord's feet. And that really does imply that I'm dead. The story of the advocate says there that there will be people who believe it's their duty to please their God. They must kill the advocate. Okay? Uh, I accept that the true covenant, the, the new covenant, as outlined by Hebrews, says that Almost always, a new covenant requires a blood sacrifice. But then Jesus Christ died for nothing if they have to take it out on the messenger. That's all I am, is a messenger, a worthless rag that was absorbed by the Holy Spirit, swallowed by the heart of the earth seven years ago on Remembrance Day. I fulfilled everything more than once of the biblical prophecies of Daniel's, of Jesus Christ, of Paul, and especially Isaiah, that I'm doing everything in my power to enact doxology, which is who has ever, you know, complained to God and said, enough's enough. You know, what's it take? You know, the reality is, is the, uh, they want to die for Satan. Shut up. This mystical concept. And as to the second concept, con uh, second commandment, uh, my God is a jealous God. Okay? You will only bow to him. And uh, that's no truer words have ever been spoken. They're being tested. They are bowing to Shatan. And if they can't get off their knees, then uh, they face a merciless death. And uh, I'm the last one to uh, wish that on anybody. So uh, what can I say? Uh, the reality is, is we are facing our end times. I'm pushing the buttons. And as long as uh, bad first fruit doesn't break out in every direction all at once, then I've won I'm winning. <laughs> That's all there is to it. You know, uh, until bad first fruit, actually strikes and which is shit hits the fan it, it we're still i'm still on the winning side of conquering the glove and uh, 
It's the only thing that's keeping me going. And uh, the last person in the world who will shrink is me. Thank you very much.